Okay. We are back to make ranged items. So to do that, click this green plus. Go over here and you will find ranged item. It is Q if you want to quick make it. There we go. Um, and we'll make this. I usually just like to do something simple, like a nerf blaster. And this has a few benefits, as then we can talk about ammo and what the bullet looks like in the air, because that's important. So let's create a new ranged item. And let's make a texture for this. Create a texture. I'm going to start from scratch this time. And my Nerf Blaster is the classic color of, I'll even go to the swatch. Just like that. That looks good to me. You can make a water gun. I've seen definitely a lot of water guns before. Um, I've seen all sorts of things. So you can kind of do what you want with this. I once made Pop Rocks, uh, a cherry bomb, and it was like you spit out cherry pits at people. That was kind of weird. Um, just ugly. I just want to get this to be... Okay, that, that explains that, so I just didn't continue the line here. And we can leave that kind of long. Um, let's make a little area for a scope up here. Let's make a little... Thing to hold the blaster bolts. Okay. Let's get orange. Get some orange on here. A little orange tip. Let's make this orange. Go get some green, that's a nerf color. Make the handle green. And the trigger, we will make the trigger orange. So I think that kind of makes sense. We actually do the scope as green. Let's just do it up here. And then we can make this we click on the little dropper thing, get some blue, go back, drop blue there. There we go, that kind of looks nice. And that'll be there. Finally, let's get some purple on here. We're just going to have fun with that. Um, blah, blah, blah. Purple over here. Maybe a little purple accent. Right. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. Good enough, at least. That's all that matters. Okay, actually, I'm going to erase this little dot there. Keep a little more interesting structure. That's kind of cool. Kind of interesting. Um, I like to make it so that the tip is out this way. I just think it looks like it's shooting best that way. You could also make it horizontal, but you'll just notice that it looks like it's different in your hand. Um... So, because this kind of looks like boring, I'm going to do the thing I was talking about before, a couple of videos ago, where I just make a transparent effect. Let's just give this thing some, oops, I'm going to erase. Let's give this thing some shading. Too intense, actually. I'm going to go drain just a little less, and then I can really just draw with it. I want to be able to hit everything with this. I'm just going to assume that the sun is kind of on top, and so the stuff on the bottom should get a little more shading. Should get a whole lot. Probably, right? Something like that. And already... It looks a little more interesting. Cool. Um, that looks good enough. So we're going to click save this texture. Earth blaster texture and tan that into an item. 
This is an item. It does not get placed on the ground. Sweet. Let's put that in there. Now we have a Nerf Blaster. Uh, but it doesn't do anything yet. So it's going to go into combat. It's item animation. This one you can play with. I would suggest playing with. Um, and if they so if they want to do a bow, you can't have, or at least I haven't figured out, how to make it so it actually does like the bow animation. Because the bows in Minecraft go through like a few different textures. As you pull it back, it, the bow squeezes in and the um, that cord, you know, stretches out and stuff. But it kind of, when you're doing it in M Creator, it just stays as the same texture and zooms in. So we're going to leave it like a bow, because I like that one the most. But you could also try crossbow. That one has been weird and glitching in the past, and so is spear. I don't know why they don't just have throw, but I guess that's kind of like none. Um, but let's let's leave it at bow. Max stack size, we're definitely going to leave that at one. You know, you only want one of these in your hand. Damage versus mobs versus animals, melee damage. That's what this is talking about. Uh, if I check it, then I could have it. So let's say I wanted um, something that it was a ranged item, but also hurt when you hit someone. I could make it to as much damage as I wanted. Uh, but we're actually going to turn this off. So it's just like hitting with your hand. Item for ammo. Now, let's make some ammo. So now that we have made our item, let's make some ammo. So I'm going to go to workspace. I'm going to go to plus. And let Let's make an item called Nerf Dart. Make a new texture, create a texture, transparency works, and let's just get, I think Nerf Darts are basically orange. Are they blue with an orange tip or orange with a blue tip? I feel like they're orange with like a blue tip, but maybe they're... That looks good. Actually, let's even get this out a bit longer. Show the shape of a Nerf Dart. And it's just kind of like a zoomed in Nerf Dart. We're going to click Save This Texture. Dart. Texture. Sweet. Close that. This is the Nerf Dart. Oh, dang it. I did it. I totally did it. I saved it as a block, because I wasn't paying attention. So, let's go, and we're going to click Edit Selected. And while I'm here, I may as well make it look a little prettier. I'll do the classic shading it, just to give it a little bit of shape. Oops. Kind of looks weird. I can go in that dark, um, but I, I don't care that much. I could change it again, but that doesn't really matter. So we're going to click save this text, save as a new texture, and specifically an item. Nerf dart text. This texture is taken by this imposter. So now I have my Nerf dart. This is my old one. Delete selected. Yes, there we go. I have a Nerf Dart. Let's put that Nerf Dart texture in there. And this is good for me. So now I have an item called a Nerf Dart. And that will be its ammo. So if you have a Nerf Dart in your hand, then you can shoot the weapon. Otherwise you can't. So it'll be like arrows in Minecraft for bows. Um, shoot constantly when active. You can turn that on. It's a little glitchy, but sometimes the kids have a lot of fun with it. It just doesn't, like, the animation doesn't work the same and stuff. So you can't, like, zoom in. It'll just keep shooting. Um, so I, I kind of want to zoom in. I put a little scope on that, right? So let's uh, shoot constantly when active. No. Item usage count. If, it's, if the stack size is larger than one, it's set to zero. That means, like, if, if I was doing ninja stars, I might say you can hold 16... Ninja stars at a time. 
Um, and then I wouldn't want there to be any item usage. I want there to be zero so that you just throw it. And it's not like you used a part of your thing. Um, cause it, it would get all glitchy and weird. So just leave it as zero if you're doing something with multiple things, but this isn't that. So it's a nerf gun and they're cheap. So there's probably, you probably can only use it a hundred times before it breaks. Um, and the max stack size is one. You can only hold one nerf gun at a time, uh, in your hand, just like how like other tools work. Sweet. And these we can leave. This is the sound. I like it as an arrow. And this is the glowing effect to make it look enchanted. That's on every item. We're going to leave it. I don't want it to look enchanted. Projectile. This is a weird one. So the power is how the speed of the bullet. So that's how fast it's actually going to move through the world. Instantly, people are going to be like, let's make this 100 because they see power and then they think damage and stuff. And that's the, 100 will be kind of glitchy and weird. I would say two is probably the max you can do. Since this is a nerf gun, let's make it point, point 0.8. The bows, the little darts fall in the air. They're not that good. Um, but point 0.8 should be plenty good to like shoot pretty far still. Projectile damage, it's a nerf gun. We're going to make it do 0.5 damage. So it really does not do much at all. Knockback, um, maybe one. Kind of knocks you back. Uh, projectile has particles. If you check this, it will look like an arrow is going through the air. The arrows have like these weird little particles coming behind them in Minecraft. And if you check this, it will just look like an arrow. So I'm not going to do that. So it looks different. Um, if you ignite fire, it will also just fly through the air with fire on. That is not something I want for this item, but you could do that. And it will then also ignite things on the ground. Um, item representing texture of projectile. This, this is super important. Um, to make a, like when you shoot the gun, you need to make a separate item to be what you see in the air. So if I chose my bullet right now as the item, it would look like a little vertical dart is flying through the air. And so like if you were doing ender pearls, that would be great. You would just want to throw the ender pearl in the air and then it will fly and then you'll teleport wherever it lands. Um, but I'm not making ender pearls. I'm trying to make a dart and it should look like a little, just like the, the end of the dart, not the blue tip, but the orange end. So I'm actually going to go to workspace, mod elements, and let's create a new item. And this will be really just nerf, uh, nerf dart in air. So this item, let's create a texture. Yeah. Uh, orange. A little square and just to make it match we'll do a little bit of shading okay that looks pretty good save this texture as an item um nerve depart in air text Whew. okay that texture and that I, I should really have explained that while I was making it this texture is supposed to look like the back of the dart as it's flying through the air so we're gonna go back to nerf dart in air I'm gonna go click and set that as the texture and this is important because this thing is not an item in the game I don't want you to be able to craft this in survival mode or anything and if you're in creative, it really wouldn't make sense for you to get it either. So I'm going to go to properties now. And at the very top here is this creative inventory tab. I'm going to go, I'm going to click no creative inventory tab. So if you, you can technically still get this in creative, but you have to use commands to bring it into the world. Um, Otherwise, you won't be able to get it, which is what I want. I just want it to technically be an item, but it really isn't an item in Minecraft. We're going to close that. And we see the texture there. So Nerf Blaster. 
now an item representing texture of projectile. I'm going to choose my item I just made, Nerf Dart in Air. You could choose any of these, and it will just look like a bed is flying through the air or something. Um, if you do some M Creator stuff, you can even make a, or sorry, some block bench stuff. You can do a model, like arrows are their own model, and you could make a little model to fly through the air. That could be cool. You could just do a little cylinder and make like Star Wars guns, like make it a red cylinder and shoot those lasers. That would be sick. Um, and here, yep, like I talked about these, we're going to leave those alone. Let me put that in. And triggers, that is code that we'll talk about later. So let's just go click Save Mod Element. And now I do want to show you how that works. So let's put... I do want to show you how that works, so let's press the green play button and run that. Okay, so we are back to that test world that we made before. We tested the tool in, but let's go back to combat. If we go all the way down. Here's our Nerf Blaster. Oh, but I must have saved the dart somewhere else. I'm going to guess. Miscellaneous. Yep. I'm going to grab 64 of those. And now, I can zoom in. I can shoot this little guy there. And he didn't get that hurt because it's just a Nerf dart. It doesn't really hurt him. So we can zoom in. Let's see how far it goes. Yeah, so you guys see that little orange square? That is the item we made for it. So the power will determine its kind of arc and speed. So with 0.8, that is the distance you're going to get. Okay, well that should be plenty for this video. That's how you make ranged weapons.